up guys welcome back to the channel we're gonna start off this video by going on Devin and I's morning walk we have Devin not really morning anymore it's looking about like noon I know it's it high is. tide we go on our morning walks every day we kind of picked it up from 75 hard that thing is clean as shit oh yeah it is it's kind of a healthy habit is just to go on a walk and plus it's getting super nice outside you know we're just enjoying the weather and being healthy it's a great Day to be alive, but your sun's still shining when I close my eyes. I don't understand why start doing that literally every single morning but he hasn't given me a straight answer yet so we're actually at Devon's shop but I'm leaving I had to drop him off I have some errands to go and run but first I drank some alcohol last night I always feel like I'm very well obviously I'm dehydrated so I, I've been chugging water all morning but I also feel like very weak I just don't feel healthy, obviously. That's what alcohol does to you. So I have two scoops of protein powder um, in the car with me. And I'm just gonna chug it really quick. So we have two scoops of Iso Pure, which by far has been my favorite protein that I've found. It's zero fat, zero carb, and I got it at Costco. So I have my water and I'm gonna drink it. Like all protein has a nasty aftertaste and I feel like this one doesn't at all. This is like super random, but I, I've had this piercing right here forever in my ear and it fell out and it kind of closed back up and I, I literally cannot get the, I can't get the earring back in. So I have to go there and get that done. So let's get going. Okay, I got, oh this is dirty. I got the piercing in guys and it freaking hurt to get it through. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it's this one right over here. Koda! Hi, sweetie! Hi, babies! Hi, guys! I just got ready for the day, and I haven't started my diet yet, or I haven't started cutting for Hawaii yet, but I am starting to track my macros just to get a maintenance calorie and your maintenance calories are what you eat throughout the day but you're not gaining weight and you're not losing weight you're just staying the same so i'm trying to figure that out i want to say it's around 2200 calories which is quite a bit but i'm kind of active so it makes sense for my body when i do decide to diet or cut for hawaii i can lower my calories from that and then i will start to lose weight it's really as simple as that you just have to stick to it and to be completely honest after being off of phase two and 75 hard i have kind of gotten off track a little bit with um counting calories and being like super super strict with my diet i start dieting next week so i'm like i gotta get my head in the game me being like a fitness person and staying healthy my food varieties guys are like not i don't have a huge variety of food options and stuff i literally stick to pretty much the same things and it's not because i don't want to eat other things it's mostly because i know what calories and fats and carbs are in these things and so it's easier for me to stay on track that way if you guys ever wonder why i'm cooking the same things all the time it's mostly because of that i try to cook things with a high protein in them and a lot of foods sadly have high carb and high fat and not a high amount of protein. I'm gonna show you guys what we have. We have turkey sausage, American cheese, these are 50 calories a piece. We have three eggs, hot sauce, it has no calories in it. And then we have these 80 calorie tortillas. This is what it looks like and I probably have at least one of these every single morning. It's high in protein, it's a little higher in fat just because of the eggs. And yeah, carbs are pretty normal. So I have this and I still drink a gallon of water a day. So I'm still on my first bottle of water. After this, we're gonna head to the shop and see what Devin's up to. <laughs> I present to you my beautiful masterpiece. 
We made it to Devin's shop and he wants me to start his car for the first time. If you guys don't follow him, he's been building this car for probably two, three weeks now. Weeks? Well, like the motor. Oh, I was going to say. Yeah, probably. The whole build's, you know, been about a three month process. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a pretty hefty build, but he wants me to start it for the first time. What? Why? No gas, no nothing, no clutch. Like, just turn it on. It's not gonna start. No more. I feel like this is always the scariest part. This is the most nerve wracking thing I've ever done. I know. I. I, I think I have anxiety. Should we plug her in? Sure. For people who aren't car people, simple explaining. Devin's been building this car. He redid the whole motor, literally everything. It hasn't started officially yet, so this is like the first startup. Sometimes things go wrong, sometimes they don't. But with Devin's builds, they go wrong. I don't want you to do if it starts, let it run for five-ish seconds, kill it. Neutral, are you ready? Is it, There's not even gas in this thing. Okay. Five seconds. It'll be a little noisy at first. We got no oil in the lifters. I can't do this. Are you hitting it? I literally can't do it. Come on, come on. It's probably going to start right away. We might, I doubt it. Okay, ready? Happy boy? Why did it start so easy? I knew it would. With me did you? Did, did I just hear you come up here and say that everything I build goes to shit? <laughs> I didn't see that. Something close. Ready and... Devin for the majority of the day I have to help him bleed brakes clutch and a few other things and I said okay before we do all this I need to have I need to have a little bit of lotus so we're gonna head by the stand and get some lotus Look at her cute face. Let me see. Let me see. Guys, look at what time we just freaking got home. I was gonna make tacos, turkey tacos with some french fries and have this great meal, but then I realized it's almost 11 o'clock and I really don't feel like pulling, like I don't feel like making all that food, so. What's up, baby? Ta-ta. Can you guys take a moment to guess really quick what I made? I should give you a hint. Coda? You guys knew, you guys guessed. Oof, let's talk. Healthy pizza. We got, you know, our thin crust sauce. We have their turkey pepperoni, turkey sausage, fat free cheese, yogurt ranch. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Coda! Um, he's looking at me like he's about ready to attack. Remember to hit the like button, the subscribe button. I always like reading your guys' comments, so remember to comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.